can do that, but the key to what I do is that I can tell you which organ is suffering and what is your dominant energy based off of your nails. So I can look at your nails and tell how well your life is going and what you need to change your energy to change your life. Welcome to the My Future Business Show, where we get you in front of your best audience and keep you there. Not only are we interviewing the biggest names in business to help you become even more successful, we're inviting you to book your spot on the show to help you grow your business. So at the end of the call, make sure you fill in the interview application form at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interview. Hi and welcome to the My Future Business Show. I'm sitting here with a smile on my face today because I've been working with Reggie McIver and we've been trying to get this call going for a, a handful of times now. In actual fact, um, Reggie's travelled some distance to get some reliable internet because you know how the internet is occasionally. It's uh, <laughs> up and down at the best of times. How are you, Reggie? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm fantastically well. Now that you're back on the line, I've been uh, chomping at the bit, so to speak, to uh, so to speak, to uh, spend some time with you. And uh, for everybody who is on the call today, Reggie um, has a very interesting story. He's been actually uh, um, on the Doctor Oz show. So if anybody knows, that's quite a, a well-known program. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, um, on the show. We had a topic that we talked about on stage, and backstage is where the magic began to happen. Mm -hmm. um, when they were talking about what I did, and they brought producers in and different people, and once they saw it, they were like amazed. And we had a really great time um, um, reading nails, is what analyzing nails, which is what I do. Tell yeah. us a little bit about that. That sounds very interesting. Well, I, I am one of the only people known that can do this. Most people that do it, they can read the nail and they can tell you what minerals that you're deficient in. I can do that, but the key to what I do is that I can tell you which organ is suffering and what is your dominant energy based off of your nails. So I can look at your nails and tell how well your life is going and what you need to change your energy to change your life. That's really, really quite deep stuff. Is this something that has just been, uh, like you mentioned, just a natural gift? Was any training involved? How does this all come about for you? This was a natural gift. Um, started out, you know, looking at the nails and just noticed that I could see colors, patterns, and going throughout life, I just learned a system of what nail pattern and what coloration, what organ was affected by. It. And then by this... I could check the frequency of the nail of the nail pattern and tell how successful you were in life and what to do to get you even more successful than what you are. Wow. I, I listen to this and I think to myself, with our audience, the My Future Business audience, so we are you know, up-and-coming entrepreneurs and existing business owners, how will they benefit from knowing this about themselves? Well, everyone needs to understand and know just what energy you are, are emitting to the world. All of your organs hold certain energies. Mm. And just say the liver, which holds the energy of anger. And if you have this anger vibrating from your liver, it's pretty much controlling your reality because this energy will actually draw people into your life that will aggravate that energy. So if you're in business, and you're constantly attracting people that turns into bad business deals and bad partnerships and other things such as financial loss, then the first thing I would do was check what you're vibrating because you are attracting what you're vibrating. I, I've, I know I've heard a little bit about um, um, Reiki energy and, and, and naturopathy. Is this in line with that sort of holistic um, approach? Yeah, it kind of all... It, it kind of all ties in together, mm -hmm. and this is more direct because every one of us, you know, we kind of transmit differently, and we're unique. And where this comes in is as those vibrations are leaving the organs, they're forming formations on the nails. And I have to hone into those organs and tell you uniquely what's holding you back. Does this also um, occasionally... Uh is it occasionally a cause for concern given your insight into this this technique? Is this something that 
you know, you occasionally look at somebody's cuticles and you say, oh, look, there's, there's a, another issue there. Is, uh, is that something that you ever, ever face, Reggie? Yeah, but, and, and I see it all the time because uh, quite common, I will see people that are having issues with the heart or having severe issues with the liver. And at that time, I will have them to go get checked out. Um, what I do is when a person has like, let's say the heart energy is off, then there's certain minerals that the heart requires to function. And every organ requires certain minerals. So what I would do was help them find things like magnesium. I don't prescribe anything, but I would tell them things that, you know, have been shown to help the heart, such as magnesium. And every one of these organs, they need to be cleansed from emotion, and they also need to be cleansed naturally. And so all of the time I see conditions or I see things in the nail patterns that causes great concern. Mm -hmm. Can th can this um, also af be affected by or improved by your mindset? Yes, yes. All of these things. And see, what people, they don't understand is when you're young, every one of us has a day that it becomes our life identifiable moment is what I call it. There's a day where something happens and it takes you off of the course of childhood and it makes you kind of grow up a little bit. It could be divorce. It could be um, um, rage. It could be a fight. It could be anything. But based off of how you perceive it, your perception equates to belief. So if, you, if the divorce happens, and there's no one in life that says, hey, your parents are getting a divorce. This is how you should think from this point on. What we do is we interpret it. We form all of these judgments. We form these prejudices, desires based off of what happened. And once we see that, we form a belief. And once you form a belief, that becomes the most powerful thing in the universe. So what happens is that once this belief system is formed, you might believe since there was a divorce that you really are not a fan or don't believe in love or commitment. So as you grow older, these vibrations are, are coming from the body. And as they are coming from the body, we just get older. Life happens and no one has straightened it out. You're putting these things into the subconscious mind. And then what you have in the subconscious mind will begin to work for you even when you don't know it's working. And the way I catch it is that I look at what's been happening throughout your life in the nail pattern. So when by the time you get to me, I see the, 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 the pattern of rejection or whatever. And from that, it tells me basically what's been going on in your life. Now think about this. From that life identifiable moment until this present day, Everything in the middle is what you've been manifesting because of that. And 99% of the people that I see have things that are going on that they didn't realize that once you stack the subconscious mind, it takes control from there. Mm. And it will actually run away what you say that you want. Case in point. If you spend most of your time feeling miserable in relationships or feeling miserable in business, mm -hmm. now you program the subconscious mind. So when you get a job or a career that's actually the opposite where it's flourishing and where everything is going good, because you spent so much time in your mindset, in the trouble and in the heartache, the subconscious mind will actually begin to manifest problems to put you right back in that confused, in that angry state, because it believes that that's where you really want to be. And imagine a life where your mouth is saying, I want to be free, but your energy is saying, I want to be unhappy. That's a contradiction, isn't it? It's, it's a big contradiction. Oh, in you, the average... Uh, go ahead. I, sorry to cut you off there, Reggie. I, you okay? I, I listen to this with amazement. I think to myself, all coming back to the cuticles of your nails. All coming back. And, and it's, it makes sense that the human body should show something that represents the energetic and the spiritual state. Because before something can go wrong in the natural, it must go wrong in the energetic. 
And if your organ is holding, like the liver is holding aggravation, 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 then when it hold, let's say you're riding down the road and there's road rage, and I don't know about there, but we have a lot of it here, and it, and someone cuts you off, well, immediately you begin to spur out anger and obscenities. But this comes from the liver, which is already full of negative emotion. In time something happens, all of this stuff spews out. Now, the problem is all of that anger that you carry is costing the body because the liver begins to affect the pancreas and the digestive system mm -hmm. and the gallbladder. And all of these things become effective. And now you have acid reflux or you cannot digest food properly. And you can't sleep at night and you're gaining weight and all of these things. Mm -hmm. It all ties into first the mental energy that you're carrying. And after the mental energy it becomes the physical energy. I just I want to just touch on this feeling of, um, you know, uh, using the road rage example. You know, we've just touched on the fact that it's, uh, you know, let's say Australia wide, it's uh, across the states. Uh, it seems to be endemic. It's it's everywhere, right? So mm -hmm. is this? I could all, you know, we talked about energy, and if we're all, uh, in some respects, thinking that similar way, we're all negative, and we've got got these issues. It sort of mm -hmm. speaks speaks loudly to societal issues on a larger scale that we're having as a species. Exactly. I so agree with that. Mm. And I, just think about the, Go ahead, Rick. No, I, I know, I, it's just enlightening for me because um, I'm, I'm just I'm tingling because I think to myself, what about if this be the case, does this mean that when I'm attracting or repelling people who come into and out of my life, is that all my own doing? <laughs> it is all your reality. And think about this. This is all of our individual reality. And if you see it a lot of times with relationships. You're in a relationship with one person. That relationship ends. And then someone else comes in. And that person acts just like the last person, but look totally different. And all it is is that the energy that you are projecting to the world is constantly manifesting the same type energy. And all, and, and you said something key about what is this doing to the world when so many people are, you, when that road rage is over, you go on your job, and even though you're smiling again, that rage and anger is still resting right there in the liver. And that is a lot of control. You take that road rage with you everywhere you go, and it is dictating your life. So an energy the negative energy always comes to kill, steal, and destroy. And it robs you, it robs you eventually. Do you, do you, can you, you personally, Reggie, you could see somebody who's enlightened in this respect and then you can make a direct comparison to just some, a complete stranger essentially and say, look, I see you as somebody who is enlightened and understands the true nature of the world and everything in it. And, and then this mm -hmm. other person, look, there's an opportunity for here for you to improve before you can even think coming to tie it back to business. Before you can even think about being successful in business, you need to unwind all of your belief systems, therefore reset it, resetting your negative energy back to a base level. How do you get somebody back to that level, Reggie? This is what we do. We go back to that life identifiable moment. Now, think about it. You've got like this super subconscious that you don't know, but it's always in the back of your mind. And every time something happens, you say, well, I knew this was going to happen or things never turn out right for me and see relationships never. The super subconscious then is speaking. And what you have to do is you have to know two things. You have to know your atmosphere, what you carry with you every day, and you have to know your truth. And your truth can be something that you really don't want to see. Your truth could be that I don't believe in love. I don't really believe in success, even though I chase it. I don't believe in good health, even though I claim that I want it. Your truth has been established by interpreting what it thinks that you were saying at one point in your life. 
And once you form a belief, it is the hardest thing in the world because belief produces chemicals. So if I was to say, Rick, there's really no sun in the sky. You begin producing chemicals to reject me even before you reject me in your mind. And so what we do is that we go back and we find those life identifiable moments and we put the truth on top of it. Once we put the truth on top of it, energetically, we have to break you from all the things that you have believed by first exposing what is a lie. And once we see the situation for what it was, then we have to structure that event so that our subconscious mind begins to understand that a mistake has been made. Mm. And, then, and then, uh-huh, go ahead. And, then, and like there are, there would be, you know, the compounding effect of all of these negative um, experiences, therefore perception, distortion of perception of reality would be so massive for any one individual. There would, it seems to me like this would be, uh, time consuming to unwind all of those things. How long would it take for somebody to rewind the clock? Let's say they were 40 years of age. Well, it, I just found something that I had established about three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. And really, you have the biggest key or the biggest aid, which is memory. Mm -hmm. And when you are going to sleep at night or laying down, most people's thoughts begin to come to your mind. And when these thoughts are coming to your mind, it is actually the organs which are, is capable of storing memory and projecting back to the brain. They're actually telling you it's not to hurt you. They're actually putting images in your mind and events so that you will resolve the issue and let them go. Mm. So it really doesn't take a long time. It just takes you knowing how to view your story and how to release your story from your mind because many people are held captive in their mindset every day. Every day, they're walking around with unforgiveness. They're walking around with all of these energies. Mm. And the body simply wants you to release them so that your life can change. That's, that's just amazing. Um, so, uh -huh. so insightful. I love the fact that uh, there is somebody like you in the world, Reggie. I just wonder also, you know, I try not personally to, using me as a bit of a case study here, I try not to be judgmental of experiences that I have with friends and colleagues that are around me, but I often find um, experiences will occur that leave me um, questioning my friendship or relationship with a person. Is that a, a like a, a, a telltale signal that maybe my mindset needs to improve or is it, again, just this whole idea of just letting it go and letting it be what it is? Exactly. What I always teach is to pay attention. Everyone in your reality is in your reality based off of your energy. Mm. And when your energy changes, one of the most interesting things that happens with me time and time again is that when a person gets their energy straight, then their friends will begin to leave them. Mm. And people and, 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 and that is a sign of clear energy is when your life changes because everything, if you close your eyes and you died, you're left, but everything else in your reality was just a role player. Mm. And the only thing that exists is your soul. So while you are here, everything in your life is held in place based off of your dominant energy. And when you change your energy, your reality is guaranteed to change. They would call me a thing like a miracle guy because they thought that, hey, man, this guy makes miracle happens. No, I don't. I help you change your energy. And when your energy changes, your miracles begin to happen. It's like this cascading you know, effect from the mindset down through to the physical self. Exactly. Ex Reggie, where can people find you if they want to reach out to you? One of the quickest ways they can they can contact me is they can shoot me an email mm -hmm. um, at Reggie, R-E-G-G-I-E, mm -hmm. at Reggie McKeever, M-C-K-I-V as in Victor, E-R, dot com. That is one of, one of the quickest ways to get in touch with me. It's been just a blow away call today, Reggie. You're a wonderful man, and thank you for coming on the My Future Business show today. 
Right, likewise, Rick. I, from the moment I, moment I heard your voice, I said, this guy has great energy. I've just got a smile <laughs> on my face, and I'm humbled by that. And uh, I'd love at some stage to have you back on the show. I would love to come back anytime you need me. Let me know. It's been fun having you on the call with us today. Now click on that big red subscribe button and make sure you leave us a comment, share us with your friends, and join the growing list of leading entrepreneurs who have enjoyed their time on the show at myfuturebusiness.com forward slash interviews.